Hello, Gopher Buddies. Welcome to your Gopher Buddy lesson today. Last week we learned a new song about how we can show God that we love Him. Can you all try to sing it with me? Remember to sing the tune to Mary Had a Little Lamb and the hand motions. When we sing the word I, we point to ourselves. When we sing the word God, we point up. And when we sing others, we point to others in the room. Are you ready? I can show that I love God. I love God. I love God. I can show that I love God by loving others. God showed us his love by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross to pay the price for our sins. We can show God that we love him by showing love to other people. But what if other people are not showing love to us? What if the other people are mean and do unkind things to us? Do we still need to love those people? I'm going to open my Bible, God's Word, to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, so we can find out the answers to those questions. But before we do that, let's talk to God. Everybody bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, help our children to understand your lesson from your word, the Bible, and to have good listening ears. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said... Amen. We know that we can show we love God by showing love to other people. But sometimes other people are not nice to us. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 to 45 tells us what we should do when people do not show love to us. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. The Bible calls people who are mean to us our enemies. And God tells us to love our enemies. Wow, that is not always easy to do. God knows that it is not easy to love people who aren't nice to you. That's why he says in verse 44 to pray for our enemies. As you pray for your enemies, God will help you love them. When other people see you being nice to people who aren't nice to you, they will begin to understand that you love God. Not only can God help you love your enemies, but your friends can help you remember to obey God's instructions and show love to other people, no matter how they treat you. Have you ever been to a sports game and heard the crowd cheer on the players? They might say things like, Go team, go! We are going to learn a cheer that will help us remember to show God's love to others, even those who do not love us. Watch carefully while I do the cheer. Hooray! God wants me to show love. Let's use the cheer to remind us to show love to people, even when people do not show love to us. Listen carefully as I read some stories so you can help me make the right choice. Get ready to do your cheer. You are at the playground and someone pushes you. Showing love means that you should not push back. Maybe it would be best just to go and play somewhere else. Let's do our cheer. Hooray! God wants me to show love. Someone at daycare makes fun of you and calls your name. Showing love means that you should not use angry words. Don't make fun and start calling them names either. Let's do our cheer. Hooray! God wants me to show love. You are with a group of children. They are all playing together and won't let you play with them. Showing love means that you should not leave people out. Perhaps you should look around and see if someone else needs a buddy to play with them. Let's do our cheer. Hooray! God wants me to show love. You are playing at someone's house and they take the toy you've been playing with. 
Showing love means that you should not yell or grab the toy back. Let's do our cheer. Hooray! God wants me to show love. God has told us to show love to other people. God has told us that we should even love people who do not love us. God wants you to love people even when they are mean and do unkind things to you. God knows that it is not easy to love people who aren't nice to you. That's why you need to pray and ask God to help you. Remember when people see you loving someone who is mean to you, they will begin to understand that you love God. You also need to cheer others on to remember to follow God and love people no matter how they treat you. Let's do the cheer one more time to help us remember to make the right choice. Hooray! God wants me to show love. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes so we can talk to God. Thank you, dear Lord, for showing love to us. We pray for each and every Gopher buddy that they will be able to show love to someone during this week. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining me. We will see you next time. Goodbye.